Okay, there might be spoilers for the first two episodes, starting now. Hello, welcome or welcome back. Today I want to talk about Stranger Things Season 2. I am not caught up on it, so please, if you can, hold back from posting any spoilers in the comments. I'd be so grateful because when this video is going up, I probably still won't have finished it. We only watch one episode every night when we're eating. And uh, yeah, anyway, I digress. So I have watched the first two episodes. PTSD is a thing in this season. And I understand that it's probably, I look like I'm balding. <laughs> I understand that it's probably gonna be squashed and invalidated very soon because of the nature of this season so far. Okay, there might be spoilers for the first two episodes starting now. Obviously, if you've seen season one of Stranger Things, you know that there's been some very traumatic things that have happened to every character in the show. And I really, really love that in the first two episodes, at least, they're addressing that. And they full on, like, say Will has PTSD. He's traumatized these episodes that he's having. Um, it's not real, but it feels real to him. It's a flashback. His mom, just her unwillingness to let him out of her sight and her anxiety being apart from him, that's her way of processing the trauma. Nancy, with the whole Barb thing, she's not handling it very well so far in this season. And I'm thrilled. <laughs> I'm thrilled that we're seeing how upset everybody is by this. Yes, because of the nature of the show, I'm sure that the things that Will is seeing are real, but to me, it's the most accurate portrayal... Portrayal? It's the most accurate portrayal of a flashback that I've ever personally seen on TV. Just from my experience, everything on this channel is from my point of view. Obviously, every person with PTSD is different, and I'm not a trained medical professional, but Holy crap, to me, when I'm having a flashback, it feels like I'm stuck in the upside down. Um, in the second episode, he says something to Mike. Anybody who was around in like the 90s or earlier, you know those like Viewmaster things, you and it's like little slides that scroll around. Um, he said it's like one of those when it gets caught between two slides. It's like you're living halfway between the real world and the upside down. That's exactly what PTSD feels like. You're caught between reality and the traumatic event. You're living in both worlds simultaneously. And I can't believe just how beautiful it is <laughs> on this show that they talk about that. The importance of portraying PTSD accurately on TV is huge because I remember in Grey's Anatomy there's What's his name? Owen? The guy who was in the military. He comes home and the ceiling fan is on and he's laying in bed with Christina and in his sleep, I believe, he uh, hears or sees the fan blowing above him and then he pictures it as um, a helicopter and he goes into a flashback and starts reenacting things and strangles her in her sleep. She lives. <laughs> I'm not going to invalidate that experience if any of you have had that experience. But personally, for me, it's not like that. <laughs> and I really love that these kids in this show and the mom in this show, they've gone through something super traumatic, but they didn't go to war. And their trauma is still valid. <laughs> it's awesome, and I love it. I just can't explain to you how deeply touched I am by the fact that they've done it so well. Two episodes in. I haven't seen the rest of the season, but maybe I'll do an update video and like a full-on explanation of it um, after I've seen the whole season. But fellow PTSD folks out there, tell me, do you relate to this in any way? Have you watched Stranger Things? Does it feel kind of like being caught between the real world and the upside down when you're having a flashback? Do you have flashbacks? Do you agree with me that this amazing show is doing an amazing thing for people like us who are traumatized? Do you disagree? Do you think it's harmful that they're portraying it this way. Let me know in the comments because there are a thousand different ways to look at every situation. Trauma's no different. Anyway, just wanted to throw this quick little video out there. Um, happy Halloween! I hope you stay safe and happy and maybe sufficiently spooked if you like getting spooked. My battery is so super about to die so I will see you guys 
sometime in the very near in the very near future. <laughs> Bye.